a very inspiring story from Balbriggan. But what happens when sports stars experience the same thing? Cameroon World Cup legend Joseph Ndo was the target of racist abuse when he played both abroad and in Ireland. And this is what happened. Joseph Ndo is going to come in. Yeah, we were playing um, Story Bill Caresso in Romania in a Champions League qualifier. And we went over there, it was nil all the first game. And we went there, and at the time we had Joseph Ndo and Curtis Lemon playing for us. And the crowd obviously saying that Joseph and Don every time they touched the ball, you know, reacting in, in a monkey chant manner to them. Fleming, Harris may have just got in his way, and Don. But it's like I say, it's almost a few people who think they are not racist. They just come to make fun, they just come to disturb the player. Holden has spotted and Don. Listening to the reaction of the crowd, I hope that's not what I think it is when Endo touches the ball. Oh, brilliant skill from Endo, there's only one way to silence that. It wasn't nice at the time because of the fact that we were playing and these players are uh, our teammates getting abused. You know, it got to the stage of where we were going to walk off or, or not, but we uh, decided not to because in the end they would have won by it. And, you know, it was UEFA that took action against them and didn't tolerate and end up finding them a lot of money and plus making them play behind closed doors in the next game. Given straight to Ndo, who takes it back from Crow, and Ndo to provide. In the Satanta Cup, which is a cross-border competition between the best clubs, the north of Ireland and the best clubs of the south of Ireland. Um, a game that was in, held in Windsor Park between uh, Linfield and Shelburne. There was some racist abuse uh, pointed at Joseph Ndo. Now Ndo breaking free on this right-hand side. When the ball went to Sammy Selv, there was nothing said, you know, and then when it went to a... You know, Joseph and Doe or Cordis Slim and they were monkey chants and you feel at the time just turning around and looking at half of them and telling them where to go, like, you know, but uh, as I say, you, you know, as a team, you, you want to rise above, above it. The, the funny thing in Linkfield is they have black players in their team. It makes me laugh, you know, <laughs> because I think the, the black players feel more concerned than me. Because me, I knew his opponent is not my team. But when your team did that, it's something else, you know. They're certainly making the noise of that. They stand below us. We'd seen as an association, maybe this was time now to, to, to strike and to, to give a visual message to, to all supporters that this was not acceptable. We approached um, Pat Fennan, who was manager of Shelburne at the time, and bro broached them with the approach to show racing the red card banners um, at the next game. And the players were, were delighted to be involved. Um, before the game, the two teams lined up um, and the show racing the red card banner was, was shown. Red cards issued to all corners of the ground. And thankfully since then, and uh, we have seen no racist abuse in the Santa Cup and it was a massive success. Carton rouge contre le racisme. Show racism, the red card.